Okay. Uh, <laughs> this is normal. We have an announcement. A very Don't do that. No, the last time you did that, every comment. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, we bought a house. So, okay. all right, that's that video. See ya. Bye. We wanted to make a video talking about the process though, and I, I guess like why and uh, just, I don't know. This is a gaming channel, yeah. But quite often when big changes happen in my life and now our lives, I've kept you guys updated and we've talked about it. I think it's funny actually, because you already had the idea for the thumbnail, but yeah. just that this kind of mirrors in a way the video we made when our house flooded yeah. and we sat on the couch and talked about the process of the house flooding and what was going on. Except this one's much more positive because this is a good change. We were renting this house. We've been here a couple of years yeah. and uh, we started started renting in September, so that, that time was up. We were left with a choice, you know, re-sign the lease here because they love us. Because, mm. <laughs> you know, why wouldn't they? I thought it was because we never leave our house. It's because we never <laughs> leave our house. Although the toilet is now broken and there's a giant hole in the gr I can show you that actually. Yeah, we'll do that. There it is! Can you see it? Uh, yep, he cut a massive hole in the ceiling and then he said, oh, well, you know, you're leaving soon. Like, you know, two weeks, so. Just don't use that toilet and we'll leave a giant hole in- Yeah, we were left with a choice, you know, stay here, rent somewhere else, buy somewhere else. And then we just kind of had this this idea a few weeks back, like a month ago. We heard that the interest rates, you know, I'm not going to bore you with all of it, but it was at an all-time low. And the housing market here in Texas is already super cheap. Buying houses here is insanely cheap. Like, shockingly cheap. Like, stupidly cheap. And we saw a house that we really liked, so we put an offer on it, and, uh, we got it. Yeah. You know, one thing, though, I do have to say is that moving is very expensive. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. You know, if there was a way that I could recoup those losses at all, <laughs> wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> This video is sponsored by Square Enix. What are they saying? I actually don't know. It's for their new game. Romancing Saga Reuniverse! Which you can download right now, links down below. But they also sent a package to go along with it. And I, I, it's sad to say, you know, when you think about it, this is the last package I will ever open the in this house. The last unboxing in this house. Can we have, can we have a quick look back at all the pack- not all- Does it have words? <laughs> Romancing saga? Oh my gosh. Oh, what? This is gonna look so cool. It's so cute! While Kim tries to figure out how that goes together, how about we talk about the hottest, funnest, freshest new mobile game around town? <laughs> uh, so you know me. I love free to play. So good news. This is a free to play game you can download right now. You can support me for free. It's available on the App Store and Google Play. There's massive rewards being given away during various global launch campaigns, including daily login bonuses and rewards, free daily summons, daily and weekly mission rewards. You can play it if you're a hardcore gamer like not me, or a casual gamer like Kim, who keeps grinding the box the microphone. Oh, and by the way, if you've never heard of the Romancing Saga games before, they're celebrating their 30th anniversary. There's a ton of games on a ton of platforms, even the Switch. So whether you love them now, or you love them back in the day, and you're looking for a nostalgic, free-to-play, mind-bending trip down memory lane, click that link below and check out the game. I'd really appreciate it. And you know what? I will say that because everything is packed up right now, like every console I have and my TVs because we're moving house. I downloaded the game for this sponsor and it's been the only thing getting me through those lonely cold nights where I have nothing else to play. In this scenario, my Switch is gone. I've just been playing the game. <laughs> wow! Oh no. Oh no, I, I instantly broke your hard work. No, I didn't quite get it to fit. Oh. I hope you do a better job than Kim and click that link down below. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'd really appreciate it. And thank you, Romancing Saga, for sponsoring and sending me the last package I'll ever open in the house! <laughs> Alright, so uh, there's going to be a video... No, I'm gonna ruin it. This is where I used to film these shelves here. These were the these were the ones. Everyone always asks, what? Where? Where'd you get them? Everyone always asks where I got them. Just warm up. Just go on warm up. You can only get them online because of the color. It's like gray or something. I don't care. All my games! All of the games are in these boxes. There's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then the big freaking things that Steven keeps sending me. I still need to tear this down. I built this. This is a fake wall, and uh, it's, the movers are here tomorrow. But 
I need to tear it down once they leave. But this, this is where it was. I used to stand right here. And spin around, Kim, too. This is what I was talking about. Look at, this is what I'm yelling. For those that know audio, by the way, you're about to have a seizure. I used to film here and literally scream into the empty void of the house. It's the worst. You need like something for the sound to bounce back off of to get a really nice solid sound. And you want it to get absorbed by like that spongy stuff that actual YouTubers put on walls. And you know, rather than having spongy stuff on a wall or even a wall, I just screamed down the neighborhood. Oh, Nintendo, they're releasing another bloody system. A lot of fun, ain't it? Oh, Nintendo Switch Pro coming up next year, maybe. Who knows? All right, cool. That. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna take you through every house and show you the bedroom and be every like- Every house. <laughs> Oh, I'm not gonna take you through all of my abodes. You know, we have so many after all, must be very nice. I'm not gonna take you through every room. I'm just gonna take you through the two rooms you see me shoot in all the time. And this is about as bright as it always is. I know. Okay, so this, th there's another, let me stand somewhat in the light. This room sucked too, because there was no room for my office. So I had to put it in this front room of the house and there's no overhead lights. It's always pitch black in here. And the only thing powering it were these two lamps that I've unplugged because, you know, we're moving. So this is the other room that I shot in. I still have to take down my 100,000 sub play button. I packed the million, of course. The million is safe, don't, don't you worry. That guy actually forgot he was even there. Who cares, right? <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Well, actually, no, we're done. All right, cool, bye. It is 7.30 in the morning, which is a time Kim and I never have seen before. It's day one of moving. Uh, we're just waiting for the movers to get here. Oh. Oh, uh, I thought I thought you might have been the movers. No. No. Well, I gotta say, you're really moving me. Okay, that's getting cut out. The movers came. I don't want to be all like, oh, I'm not happy with the movers I hired, but I am not happy with the movers I hired. They broke furniture, they argued the whole time. Kim, they tried to take your bike. Yeah, I didn't find out about this until about five seconds ago. Did you, they, were try, they were going through some of our stuff because I said, oh, we're donating those to like, you know, the Leukemia Foundation and people who need it, families in need. And they all started going through it like, what, oh, can I take your fan? Didn't even ask actually, he just took the fan, started walking, this is a whole rant. I was like, no, I'm not putting that on the, on the truck. He's like, no, I'm taking it. You said it was donating. Not to you! Anyway, that was yesterday. Today we're trying to organize everything. So I wanted to, I wanted to give you a little, little update tour before I start putting stuff away. So in here is my new office space. So there's no furniture, so it's super echoey. I apologize. And then in here, should I let you show? I mean, I'll, I'll do a separate thing. Okay, Kim yeah. will do something for her channel, but this is her craft room. Now our office spaces are right next to each other. So I can yell at you when I need you. And you and won't I will pretend not to hear. <laughs> and then in here, this is gonna be the new uh, studio game room space. It's a little bit, it's actually quite a bit bigger than the room that this video started in. I'm gonna recreate that wall here, so it's gonna look kind of identical, but more organized and nice. I wanna put my, st my streaming setup. I wanna stream and film in the same room. Streaming on one side of the room, filming YouTube on the other side of the room. I'll put like my gold play button here and my... You know, do you get anything? For the most part, Kim and I are very tired and I just want to get moved in. If Nintendo drops a hot new fresh direct, where am I supposed to react to it? In front of boxes? All right, bye. All right, we're on day I don't even know anymore. I think technically four, but maybe three for you guys. I don't know. I finished the office for now. It's time to start with the upstairs game room. I'm gonna try streaming, putting it all together on Twitch tonight. Spoiler alert, Twitch has known about this whole move for weeks and hopefully I can get that done in one night. That's, there's no way. just finished Mario Galaxy. Is that your first time playing it? My first time finishing it, probably. I don't remember if I finished it, but I know I was playing it before we like moved house. And then I, I've had to, I was right at the end and had to wait like four or five days to finish it because we've been too busy. Speaking of, this is like the fourth or fifth day in the new house already. Does it feel like you're home yet? Not quite. I'm kind of in that in between where I don't feel like we live at the old house, but I don't feel like we live in this house either. Well, today we went back to the old house 
wanted to clean it and it was the last time we're ever gonna be there we we we, we put so many holes in the walls we. it's insane we yes we <laughs> your craft room was littered with shelves my littered game room shelves. had way too many shelves i don't know what it was about our brains as like but, but i don't know adults moving into a house for the first time like a like a nice house and thinking that we just needed so many shelves we put shelves in every room we were renting and just <laughs> tomorrow we'll talk about the fiasco that was the moving company that lost our stuff and broke everything but until then then. Alexa, good night. <laughs> um, we're done. I think pretty mostly, much yeah. mostly. It, it's been a week already. Can you actually believe no, that? No, this has been the fastest week ever. It I went by like. so. I mean, for these people, it went by in like five minutes. But for us, it honestly felt like it went by in like five minutes. I know. It's been nonstop. And there's, there's been a lot of chaos and adventure along the way that we can talk about. But I before we get into bad stuff, <laughs> uh, we have a house and yeah. we're sat in it and it's a nice house yeah. and we love it. The front door in this house works perfectly fine. Yeah, we never know Nice, how... smooth, close it, lock it, you're good. But Kim and I both, a week in the living here, are still slamming our shoulder into the new door and holding it with our body weight and trying to turn the lock. And everyone that watches us do it are like, what the heck what are, are you, you doing? doing? Speaking of cats, they love it. Simon's having a blast. He's we'll sat in a window yeah. right there. Today, we gave him a present. I bought them oh, a, yeah. a nice new, pretty expensive uh, cat tree. Which we had to buy. And that will bring us to the story uh, that I alluded to earlier. We hired movers. I wish I could say who they were so I could recommend no one else using them. But last time I, something like this happened to me where I had yeah, all my- Yeah, it's not the company's yeah. fault, which I think is important to note. It's just, they have teams of people that go and sometimes you don't get the A team. <laughs> we did not get <laughs> the A team. We got the, the C, D, E, F. G H I J K L about we the got M the team. Bad news bears. Around the M or N team, I think. We, they they could have been worse, but they weren't great. Going through the donation stuff when they found out it was donation stuff and trying to take it, which is just so weird to have your movers like taking your stuff, even when if it was. They're supposed to be like measuring the walls and padding things. And yeah, and they were supposed to pad everything so they didn't leave scratches everywhere. That was a whole selling point. They didn't do that. Like we had bikes in the garage, and one of the movers was trying to take Kim's bike, and he was like. Whoa, she doesn't use it. I'm like, no, no, that's her bike. Yeah. Anyway, long they, they did a lot of things, but I guess the biggest, biggest screw up they did was they didn't pack the truck correctly, and they were arguing the whole time about how to pack the truck because it was gonna collapse how it was, but they didn't want to repack it because they'd already packed it once and they wanted to go the frick home. And of course, when they got here, they opened up the truck and I saw it. Everything had fallen over, all the shelves, all the cabinets, everything had fallen over. Hence why I bought a new cat tree. They completely crushed. It, demolished it. But it, it wasn't just that. It was the fact that they didn't say anything about it. Stood yeah, it up oh, in the I know. garage as if it wasn't broken. And they were like, oh, one of the legs is a bit wobbly. I went over to That's it wobbly. and like, think and the whole thing <laughs> fell down. Long story short, they just stopped putting things where they were supposed to go. They put this cabinet in Kim's craft room. As soon as we touched it, it fell apart. I'm not talking like it was on its last hinges and Kim and I broke it the rest of the way. No, but it was ripped, shattered, like all the hinges, the wood was ripped out of the wood. This was like a $200 cabinet. Yeah, but it had broke in the truck and they, you, yeah. Oh, Simon. Simon knows. He's very upset about it. That was his favorite cabinet. No, it wasn't just that they put it in the wrong room and that they purposely did it. It's the fact that they put it on the far wall in the room, the closest room they could get to from the garage. They put stuff on top of it. They had to have reassembled it in the room because they there's did. no way that it came in one piece because the parts were like where the screws and everything were supposed to go, they were ripped out. It was all ripped out so of the wood. So they had to have reassembled it in the room. But to keep it all together, they piled stuff that also wasn't supposed to go in the craft room on top of it and then they leaned furniture against it as if you know it's they propped things up yes, to it to, to keep it together they did all but bury it in the backyard but you know we're in the house now Hi. and he won't be quiet uh, no you done it now oh so kim and i keep going back and forth and debating on how much of the house to show because 
We have to live here, and we don't want to give away our entire personal living space, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna show you a couple areas. This is my giant walk- my giant walk-in closet. Kim has her own. What is he doing? <laughs> Well, while chubby King Kong destroys our laundry room, I don't wear any of this. I am dying for it to be winter already. It's still 90 degrees here in Texas because I want to wear my jackets. I actually like my jackets. I hate every single t-shirt. Anyway, I, sorry, that got heated. This, this is my walk-in closet. Kim has her own. This is your one. Yeah, not a lot in here. I don't really have that much stuff anymore. I've gotten rid of literally anything I don't use is gone. This is uh, this is all of our winnings from- Oh yeah, this is everything we won from the arcades. Yeah. Both be... in Texas and Japan. Yeah, it's true. There might be a couple things that were like um, birthday or Christmas presents also, but I just felt like I'm never gonna use all this closet space, so I may as well just like- Is it kind of sad that <laughs> I have way more clothes than you? I just- I'm weird about stuff. If it's not comfortable or I don't like it, I get rid of it immediately. I don't keep it forever. Probably not as much as you, actually. Okay, I don't want to yell because I don't want the neighbors to know that I'm a weirdo yet. Um, but this was one of our favorite things about the house was that there was no houses behind us. It was trees. I'm also not going to show you the actual house because what idiot doxes themselves? <laughs> No, we don't live in a mansion. Wait, there is one more thing I can show you. I finished in here and I'm pretty proud of it. Kind of dark right now, but I'm gonna show you something that's gonna fix that. Over here, you know how I talked about building my streaming space? I've built my streaming space and I love it. I'm very excited. So right now, I have these lights up here set to I'm working mode and these lights here are off. Watch what happens when I do this. Alexa, I'm streaming. Okay, they take a bit to turn on, but this, it, it's so cool. Uh, eventually, I'm gonna get this side of the room set up so I can say her name, I'm filming, and then all these lights will turn on to show that I'm filming. But right now, I still have to do uh, these manually. Oh, we did it on Twitch. So I'll do a quick while I'm talking, but we installed shelves up here, which broke my freaking heart. Drilling holes into my walls felt horrible. It felt like I was depreciating the house immediately. It felt like I had bought a band brand new car, drove it off the lot, putting like decals on the side. I think ultimately the end result looks pretty good. Oh, and the best part, no more yelling down the neighborhood. These are soundproofing panels that Austin John Plays actually recommended that I grab them, so thank you, bud. And then this wall, uh, I, I, I had to buy more because I severely miscalculated, but this wall will be filled with this soundproof. Oh, oh ladies and gentlemen, I, I am so excited about this room. All right, cool, all right, cool, all right, okay, cool. All right, cool. The house is really nice and we love it. We're all moved in. Kim's working on her craft room and getting stuck in the videos. It just, it feels weird to own a house. <laughs> to own like a giant pile of well-placed bricks. But I want to thank all of you for, I don't know, the last seven or eight years on this platform because with all of, you know, your help, watching and supporting you know the channel has grown my life has grown now i'm at a point where kim and i can buy a house together yeah. and it's all because of youtube which is just crazy and i love it i love youtube i love doing it and i i never want to stop now i'm doing twitch and i don't want to stop doing that either i just love doing all this online stuff so in whatever way you support me in whatever way you've helped me get to this point uh thank you it just uh, uh it means a lot to me so thanks